Melanoma is a type of skin cancer that can occur anywhere on your body. It's not the most common type, but it causes the most skin cancer deaths. The rate of melanoma is rising faster than any other potentially preventable cancer in the US. This may partly because people are spending more time in the sun being exposed to ultraviolet or UV radiation from the sun's rays. A tanning bed or a sun lamp can damage your skin. This can put you at risk for melanoma or other types of skin cancer. Other things that increase your chances of getting melanoma include having lots of moles, unusual moles or large moles, having a close family member who has had melanoma or you had melanoma in the past, having fair skin, light colored eyes, or light colored hair, having skin that freckles and burns easily, and having lots of sunburns in the past. If you have dark skin, or if you are African American, your risk for melanoma is less, but if you do get melanoma, it can be more dangerous, because of this, it is still important to be aware of melanoma signs. If any moles on your body have changed in size or appearance, ask your healthcare provider to take a look. Use the ABCDE rule. A is for asymmetric, are there any moles with unusual shapes? B is for irregular border, do any moles have raised or ragged edges? C is for color, do any moles have will or mixed colors? D is for diameter, are any molds getting larger? An E is for evolving, is a mole changing in color, size, or shape? The ABCDE rule does not work for all melanomas. Call your healthcare provider if you have any spots on your skin that are new, changing in size, shape, or color, or are different from all the other spots on your body. Skin Biopsy If your healthcare provider thinks a mole may be a melanoma, you may need a skin biopsy. This means a small piece of the mole must be removed to be looked at under a microscope. There is a small chance that your biopsy can cause an infection or it may leave a scar but the benefits of a biopsy outweigh its risks. Blood tests are not used to diagnose melanoma, however some tests may be performed prior to or during therapy, particularly for more serious cases. Prior to treatment, doctors frequently check the blood for the presence of a chemical called lactate dehydrogenase or LDH. A high LDH level can indicate that the melanoma has progressed to complicated areas of the body. This may have an impact on the cancer stage. The staging of melanoma depends on three points in particular. First, the extent of the primary tumor, how deep has the cancer grown into the skin and if the cancer ulcerated. Here we are looking at two variables, tumor thickness and ulceration. The thickness of the melanoma is called the Breslow measurement. In general, melanomas less than 1 mm have a very small chance of spreading. As the melanoma becomes thicker, it has a greater chance of spreading. An ulceration is a breakdown of the skin over the melanoma. Melanomas that are ulcerated tend to have a worse outlook. Next variable is the spread to nearby lymph nodes, that if the cancer spreads to nearby lymph nodes. Lastly, the third variable, the spread to distant sites or if metastasis occurred. Here we see if the cancer has spread to distant lymph nodes or distant organs. Melanoma can spread almost anywhere, but the most common sites of spread are the lungs, liver, brain, bones, and the skin or lymph nodes in other parts of the body. This is called a TNM staging system, demonstrated by American Joint Committee of Cancer, and is pretty helpful in diagnosis of pathologic stages of melanoma, or also called surgical stages in general. Now, here we have explained the detailed pathologic staging of melanoma. There are mainly five stages of melanoma. Stage 0, Melanoma in situ. In situ, which means in place in Latin. In stage 0 melanoma, which is also called melanoma in situ, the malignant tumor is still confined to the upper layer of the skin. The cancer cells are only in the outer layer of the skin or the epidermis, and have not grown any deeper into the dermis. There is no evidence the cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or distant sites and it is typically less than 2 mm in size. Stage 1, Localized Tumor In stage 1 melanoma, there are cancer cells in both the epidermis and dermis. A stage 1 melanoma is up to 2 mm thick that is breast low thickness and may or may not have ulceration. 
There is no evidence the cancer has spread to lymph nodes or distant sites. In short, there is no metastasis. Stage 2 melanoma, localized spread. Stage 2 melanoma is defined by tumor thickness and ulceration. The tumor is no more than 2 mm thick and might be ulcerated. There are cancer cells in both the epidermis and dermis. There is no evidence the cancer has spread to the lymph nodes or distant sites. Here metastasis is absent. Stage 3 melanoma, regional spread. Stage 3 melanoma is defined by the level of lymph node involvement and ulceration. The tumor is more than 2 mm but no more than 4 mm thick and is ulcerated. In stage 3 melanoma, the cancer has spread to one or more regional lymph nodes or has developed a deposit of melanoma in the skin or dermis, along the lymphatics prior to reaching a lymph node called an intransit or satellite metastasis. Stage 4 melanoma that is, metastasis beyond regional lymph nodes. In stage 4 melanoma, the cancer has spread beyond the original tumor site and regional lymph nodes to more distant areas of the body. The tumor is thicker than 4 mm and is ulcerated. The most common sites of metastasis are distant skin and lymph nodes, then lungs, liver, brain, bone, and intestines. The level of serum lactate dehydrogenase may or may not be elevated. This is a pathologic or surgical staging of melanoma in short and is very important in making a treatment plan for patients accordingly. There are various treatment options available to treat melanoma or skin cancers today. If you suspect it get a doctor right away, as the rule here is very simple, detect early, treat better. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and support us to learn more, thank you.